Well, you know what I found? You just need to start. You just need to start. A lot of times, the most difficult step is that first step. Hey, do you have a great idea? You know what? You guys and girls, I know you have got ideas. You've got new ideas in your head. You've got ideas that have been around for a while. You might have ideas that go back a decade. Question, what are you doing with those ideas? What are you doing with those ideas? Are you seeing any movement? Are you seeing any traction? Or have you even started? Now, I understand you get an idea, you get a vision for something, maybe it's writing a book, maybe it's starting a podcast, maybe it's starting a ministry, maybe it's adding on to your house, maybe it's finally, finally you're going to start saving some money back, maybe you want to purchase something, maybe you've always wanted to quit your job to pursue your passion, maybe you've wanted to go back to school. What is it you've been wanting to do? Well, you know what I found? You just need to start. You just need to start. A lot of times, the most difficult step is that first step. And, you're, you know, it's like, man, I want to do this, and I want to do it so bad. But if you could just take that first step, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five would get easier and easier and easier and easier. Here's the frog I want you to eat today. I talked to you a lot about eating the frog first. Mark Twain said that if you'll start your day by eating a live frog, nothing worse will happen to you the rest of the day, right? So here's the frog I want you to eat. I want you to think about what is it I've been wanting to do, but don't stop there. That's the easy part. Don't stop there. Here's the frog. What is one thing I can do to get started? Because it's that first step that's the hardest, but it's that first step that's the most liberating. I think back over my life at things I've wanted to do. And I would lie to you if I told you I've done them all or that I did that crucial first step to get the ball rolling. But you know, a lot of the great things that I've done in my life and the, the great things that have happened in our ministry where God has blessed, it, it's always started with that first step. But you know what? You've got to grow in your confidence. You've got to choose that you're going to do it and, and you're not going to fear failure. You're not going to fear the opinions of others that don't really matter. right? You're not going to fear, what if I don't get it exactly right? What if it's not exactly perfect? No, you're going to bag that fear. You're going to bag that uncertainty and those insecurities, and you're just going to take those steps. Now, some of you have done that, and you can testify. I can almost see you and hear you right now saying, yeah, you're exactly right, because you've taken that first step, and you've learned that step two and three and four are a lot easier. And man, why didn't I start earlier? Now's the time to start. Now's the time to start. We're fresh into a new year. Now is the time to take that first step. Now is the time to get that microphone out, to get that ink pen out, to get that keyboard out and start typing, to have that meeting, to talk to that person, to build that plan, and to make it happen. Be action-oriented. Don't sit back wondering what would happen if. Don't go to your grave with way too many, boy, I wish I would have done that. You're going to fail along the way? Yes. You're going to mess up along the way? Yes. Things aren't always going to go the way you thought? Absolutely. But you're going to learn in the process, and you're going to become a better person. Are you ready to take some first steps? All right. Stop listening. Stop watching. Think about what you've been wanting to do. Think about one big thing you can start doing to make it happen, and let's all do it. Let's all commit to doing it right now.